the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us into a kingdom for priests, priests for God our Father. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O oh God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your son's blood may have life through you and your protection. Under your protection rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, <clears throat> My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets, that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for such a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him up from the dead. <clears throat> and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. There are now, these are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming <clears throat> this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers has been brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second Psalm. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. <clears throat> I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him. With trembling, rejoice. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be, where I am going you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going, how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. 
No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Thomas makes a very good point when he says, we do not know where we are going, how can we know the way? You need to know the way. <clears throat> you need to know the way and uh, where you're going, otherwise you'll never get there. <clears throat> well, Jesus, says, Jesus says, as long as you know me, you know the way. Jesus, Jesus is, is the way. And it's appropriate that we have uh, this gospel passage here in this Easter season, when we have in uh, the readings from the Acts of the Apostles, uh, the, the very first forming of the, the first members of, of the church, and originally who were called members of the way, members of the way. Um, so I, I think it was uh, um, the reading on Tuesday, the first reading on Tuesday, or, or perhaps it was Monday, where, um, where we see that, that uh, finally, uh, uh, the, the members of the way were referred to as the church, right? The assembly, the assembly. And so, so <clears throat> members of the way, members of, of, of Christ, right? It makes it very clear that you, you can't get to the Father except through Him, except through Him. So, so that puts a big dent in our sense of everybody's going to heaven, right? Uh, Jesus is very clear often in the Gospels that the only way to heaven is through me. The only way to heaven is through, is through Jesus. And so, <clears throat> so uh, you must then still know the way. Thomas isn't wrong here in, in, in what he says, you know, in his logic, or at least in, in his presumption that, hey, we need to know the way. We need to know the way. And, <clears throat> and um, you know, so, so we don't know where you're going. So, so how do we know the way? Well, Jesus says, as long as you know me, you know the way. Right, you have to know the way. You have to know the way. So you have to know Jesus. You have to know Jesus. So, so, so of course, Jesus is correcting Thomas's uh, mind. And Jesus does that once in a while to us, doesn't he? he? He corrects us. We think we know so much, right? We think we know so much. We come up, oh, no, no, you're not right. And, and you know, of course, Thomas is thinking of, you know, I need, I need a, a map and I need to have that little X on the map of the destiny. And I need to have that little line. Uh, that shows how I'm going to get from point A to point B. And, and Jesus comes along and says, no, no, you're thinking about this all wrong. You're thinking about this all, all, all wrong. <clears throat> you, you, know, you know the way. You know the way. It comes through, it comes through me. There, there's, 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 no, there's no landscape here. There's no geography involved. It's all, it's all about knowing me. There's a personal relationship. There's prayer. Uh, there's dedication, there's promises, <clears throat> uh, there's a code of contact, conduct, right? We call those the virtues, right? So, so to know the way, to know the way. You know, when we're going somewhere, when we're going somewhere on our way from point A to point B, we're usually looking out from where we are, aren't we? Looking out from where we are. So let's celebrate the Eucharist now uh, together. And uh, let's not look down and inward to ourselves, but look, let's look outward to God, outward to Jesus Christ who comes to us in the Eucharist, and look at him and follow him. He knows the way. He is the way. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, <clears throat> for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pater noster, qui es in celi, sanctifice tuo nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, Sicut in cielo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever.
Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 